Hello everybody, welcome to an epic Chaos Dwarf Mirror, as we have two identical kits, two identical logos. Cruz um, <laughs> is receiving with his furniture team up against Mahalson. Um, in the booth with me is Faimir. Hello. Hello everybody, and yes, this is the most, the perfect mirror match. <laughs> yeah. Everybody is exactly the same. You know, some, some games, some multiplayer games have the option of showing your team red or blue and the other team red or blue. So they're always different colors. But, you know, Blood Bowl 2 didn't, didn't get the message for that. Yeah, amazingly, Blood Bowl 1 had that, but not Blood Bowl yeah. 2. And I don't see that coming in Blood Bowl 3 either. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Um, so, yeah, I think Cruz. You know, no offense to Mahalson, but obviously Cruz is is you know incredible record in CCL. So you probably you've probably got to say he's probably the better coach, probably got the better team. Um, they're on, and in fact, Cruz is the one with the inducement. He's got a second. He's got a second. I mean, yeah, that's the Mahalson team is a strong team. I mean, they had a, that the ball carried strength four, yeah. strength for the chore. Yeah. Uh, Difficult to see who has more claw here because every player is exactly the same. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't help, does it? So I have no idea who has more uh, claw bombers. Oh, it's me and the team too. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> Blue head, of course, blue head. I was expecting <laughs> less. And I'm the new, a new player too. Holy shit, you remember me? Oh, wow. Oh, well, look, there's no chance for Mahalson here. Look. You can tell he's a rookie chorf coach, right? I mean, I don't know how many games he's played, but he's not Cruz level. Look at this. He's got. He's only got one blue head on the team. And then you look at Cruz. Every single one is a blue head. There, it, there is just no chance for Mahalsa. Literally no chance. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really hard to tell what the fuck is going on. Which yeah. players are on which side. What anyone's got. It's absolutely horrible. All we know is that Cruz has the blue heads, and uh, well, that's it. I mean, Cruz has got the better ball. He's got strength five. Strength five is better than edge three for sure. Yes. Um, and Cruz has a claw pommer and a claw mighty and a strength four. Um, I think it's more killy, isn't it? I'm sure he's just got a claw they're mighty. nearly the same thing. Yeah. As even in his skills. I do think Chris is better though, he's got, he's got the claw pom. And, you know, there is a sexy hobgoblin somewhere, isn't there? Yeah, this yeah there is a... Ball. The sexy hobble, there's a lot of TV in that one. Dodge, Roger, side step, that's a really good hobble. Yeah. My money is on the red chores with the pyramid as their logo. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> It's going to be a short civil war, you know, blue heads versus uh, pink heads. Yeah. What a witness in history here. <laughs> I mean, this guy doesn't seem too relevant, but he could be, right? Because it is hard to keep your balls safe sometimes from these marauding bull centaurs. And obviously, if he gets hit by a strength four bull, it's not so bad. Whereas if he gets hit by a strength four bull, he's, uh, he's light out. Of course, with Cruz, one of his bulls is strength five, so. <laughs> not tackle on the strength five. So, you know, the, the better ball carrier could be, a, could be a deciding factor. I think he's exposing the ball carrier, you know, way, way too much. Yeah. That makes the classic mistake of forgetting the bull how was a strength five. Yep. Yeah, that was a bit. That was a bit crap. And then he he assisted the dodge. He assisted the block and then didn't block. What? I don't understand. Like literally, he just dodged there. He assisted the block. He geofied to assist the block and then didn't block. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> Got the claw pom blitz to come. It's the pal. The AV break. Pal on. Gets a removal. Good 
get rid of the clock. Wow. That was an apple. No, it wasn't. I thought it was an apple. I thought it was an apple, which is... Sounds like the apple, yeah, but no, no, it wasn't, it wasn't. GFI here, I don't really like that GFI before making this block, because you really want to get this guy back for the cage. So I think making this block is more important. Um, because now how do you how do you get this guy back? You don't, there's no cage. I think well, I can see a hit on the ball. Yeah, is, is this a bull scent? It is a bull scent though, yep. So he, he, he does need to power this fella, yep. And now, of course, he's got edge three instead of break tackle. Will it cost him? <laughs> Will it cost him with his hit on the ball? I don't think he should have done anything before this hit. He's got to see what happens. What the fuck is he doing? Uh, the what the fuck is he doing? That must be a misclick. I mean, that's a four plus dodge. Yeah, he must have just... That must be a misclick or get confused with who's player is and who's yeah, team. Who, yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, wow. Cruz got away with one there, didn't he? Holy shit. <laughs> what a mistake. What a mistake. Unbelievable. Wow. <sighs> you just have to do that blitz first though, because it dictates what the rest of your turn is, doesn't it? Yeah, let's see what happens after it. Yeah. It's his fault for making red chaffs, isn't it? <laughs> Finally powers that stand firm guy. Gets the removal. Again, that sounded like an apple had been used, but it hadn't been. <laughs> wow. Total control now for Cruz, up three players. It's getting to the point where Matt Holson should maybe think about lying down, he's got no rerolls left. I mean, it wasn't foresight by uh, Cruz, was it? Cruz, always taking the red chaffs, always taking the blue heads. You know, he's a professional. He knows what to do. <laughs> he knows how to play this game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is he going to GFI the claw palm? It sure looks like it. Wait, that's a... Mahalson have two ball carriers. There are two hops with uh, sure hands. Yeah, there are, yeah. yeah. I guess he made this one first and then he rolled strength up so he was like, fucking get in. <laughs> 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 Fuck you, asshole with a bloody sure hand. Uh, get, get a fucking uh, kick and uh, <laughs> leave me alone, which by the way I don't like on top things. No, I don't either. I mean, being a hobo, it's alright. Not many good skills. Yeah. Yeah, this is Chris's drive, Ripper Doc. Nope, oh, he's killed that guy. Amurabi is dead. Wow. Apple fails. Apple. Fails. I think all the apples we have seen today have failed. Yeah, it feels like that. At Whoa. least all the ones that were in to dead. Wow. Yeah, and it's good to have a bolt bit, so it's fine having two uh, two ball carrying like hobos, I think. I think that's pretty good actually having having the sure hands dude and then as a supplement so that you can you can be the boat bitch, designated boat bitch. But yeah, this is this is a approaching dicing territory. Apple fail. Four chores down. I mean I said last turn he should have maybe run away, and if he had run away, then that GFI to hit him wouldn't have been on. <laughs> uh, maybe. And the blitz into the claw pom hit. Well no claw mighty hit. Gets the power. Yeah, when this is a pitch clear, we won't we won't be confusing players anymore. 
Cruz doing us all a favour. Big foul coming in on a stunned player. Doesn't care. It's positionally valid to do it this turn, isn't it? So. Yeah, it's done six. And it's the best player left in the Mahalson's team. Yeah. The one that actually can do something. <laughs> Well, I mean, you have the ball carrier here, but the ball carrier is going to die next turn. Oh, God, he's wrestling. Now more wrestling than down. ever. <laughs> yep, I think that ball carrier is definitely getting the classic dirty player wrestle, the combo that you love. He wrestles down a guy and then stands up to foul him. He's love crazy. that. I have to admit, I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Gives a lot of uh, despair equity in the rival. <laughs> yep. Oh no, he stood up already! What the fuck? What the Cruz, fuck, Cruz? Cruz, I'm disappointed! What the fuck? Come on, man! How do you not foul this guy? He's armor 7 and he's a monster and he's got dirty player right there. Maybe he wants to keep his dirty player for the second half and he's just gonna foul this, like, wrestle tackle. But who else are you gonna foul? That's the perfect target! Yeah, maybe he's gonna foul with a wrestle tackle. To make sure he's got the dirty player for the second half. Oh, right, for the second half, yeah, okay. Yeah, or maybe he has made a mistake. There's so many <laughs> icons on the screen that, yeah. <laughs> maybe. But yeah, I would have definitely wanted to foul him with dirty player. Holy shit. But yeah, okay, he's, he is, yeah, he's going for the Rackle. Rackle foul. And from the right of the square. Stunned. Sent off for a stun. Well, there you go. Like, that's all he needed, to be fair. Like, he had to stun him, didn't he? To, to stop yeah, the stun was enough. For anything else, you get a risk of uh, getting two dice on the ball. Yeah. yeah, exactly, J5. Genius play by Cruz there. Next level. No, obviously he made that 3D blitz from the ball, which was safe. So, but, you know, like I understand doing that, but I am um, by the same token, I would have probably wanted to foul a dirty player, but then that kept the dirty player in for the second half, which often is a criticism I level at people, um, not keeping their dirty player for the second half. You know, so fair enough. Not a brutal criticism, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Taking some punches. Yeah, I can punch a lot of still. Oh, did! There you go, you're a dirty player, Uresle. Wow. Can't foul with him, tragically. But can three dice with his, with his bow? <laughs> Poor little bow, getting three dice by the big bow. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely deal respect here. <laughs> Completely emasculated. <laughs> oh god, Hobbo's off. No he's not. But yeah, that's that's a brutal half, isn't it? Three cars. Two cars. Two of them dead. Yeah. Half all gone. Oh no orc cheerleaders though. The only thing wrong with Cruz's team is the lack of orc cheerleaders. Brings on his substitute hobo to get pounded. And yeah, this is looking real bad now for my house. Yeah, yeah, positioning for the Riot Miracle. Really bad. Ten, ten players. So he might be at 11 if this guy comes back. But even if he is, he's still down two chops, including... Yeah, Super. exactly. You know, this is one of these things where numbers game. Well, don't compare a chop with a hobo. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, the quality of the players on the field is very important. Uh, people say, oh, they have the advantage. I think they have 11 versus 9, and it's 11, you know, uh, thralls. <laughs> yeah. Versus 9, a uh, full chaos team. It's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Brilliant coaching. He gets a coach. He gets a reroll for one turn, which he's got the he's got the uh, edge three, so he might be able to do this. Oh, he is. Oh God, he's used the whole method. Unforgivably poor. Player. <laughs> you might say that's harsh, but uh, also he hit with the wrong player, right? This guy should have hit, so that if he had powered. Yep. So they have the. Like if he powered at any point, you'd have had this hit. To do the extra. Gave up halfway through. <laughs> he just gave up halfway through one turn. Beautiful. But yeah, he need he needed to <laughs> not use the hole. That was that was bad. bad on. Needs this guy to have a chance. Yep, he comes back, so he's got eleven. But he is down two chops. Got four rookie well, hobos on the other, on the team. No, three rookie hobos on the field. He has the Eloise hits. So maybe, maybe he can get rid of a few hobos. Yeah, maybe. He's got the claw mighty blitz. He's got three mighty blow hits against hobos. Unless he doesn't hit with mighty blow. He goes to the uh, he goes to the Dord School of LOS blocks and doesn't hit with Mighty Blow. <laughs> Classic. I mean, it's fair enough. Obviously, you don't need bulls hit by the claw on and stuff, but I think you've got to try and endeavour to. Uh, you know, oh them. well. Well, now his claw mate is getting claw pommed. <laughs> Quite possibly. Blitz, the most common result of a kickoff events in Chalice. It seems that way, doesn't it? Reroll? No. Restraint from Cruz. He's got to put a guard in to protect him now. Ball comes in. It's pretty horrible, isn't it? Dominates his LOS now. Absolutely. God, look at that. Yeah, and a really good kick. Cruz, of course, not having to waste a skill on kick to get that kick. <laughs> that's just all right. That's all right. Yeah, that's why I kind of hate kick, though, right? Because these just happen sometimes anyway. Like. A, a fair amount of the time these kicks happen, and it's like, why dedicate a, a fucking skill so they happen a bit more often? Uh, uh, Charles team that could be a dirty player. Yeah, exactly. For an elf, it could be one half of Blodge. And Skaven, fair enough. But even then, a Skaven could be a dirty player, right? So, and a Thrall. Like, Skaven and Thralls are the big ones because you're just not losing a lot by uh, taking a different skill. But still, Russell's good. I like Russell and my shithead lineman. <laughs> oh, fails. Fails the pickup. There's going to be some hits now. Nothing works. Nothing works today. No, this is a, a sad day for Mahalson so far. Focused on the LOS. Curb arm. This time he does get the knockdown. 
PC piles on. No. There's a kill. Take the one D here. Yeah. Well. It's looking bad, isn't it? Crucifer is doing the classic uh, slow and constant advance, you know, progressing square by square, 2D by 2D. And uh, even you have 11 players, and some of them are just random hobos yeah. against an all guard team. It's very, very complicated, especially if you, are, uh, you don't roll anything uh, decent. Yeah. Oh, now maybe the thing five. Oof. Needed an armor break, I think, there to like buy him some good time. I think it's not going to be long before Cruz has got this locked down again. That's the thing, isn't it? By like being the biggest grinder of CCL of all time, Cruz, like uh, he is good at like letting these situations where he's got like the advantage, you know, and he like he sees them out. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, slowly and surely, slowly and surely, and then suddenly the other team has run out of players. <laughs> yeah. The claw mighty though. Free to do something next turn. Like one dice this. No, he can stand him up and two dice him. And then he can potato with the uh, with the bull. Right? The bull can can then dodge away. So I think this is the this is the turn to uh, bull break away. Yeah. The other bull can. Uh, oh god, he shouldn't. Probably shouldn't have done that. Why is this? Mm. Oh, I did that one. Oh, I was trying to achieve putting that edge off there. I guess he's gonna like move this guy up and screen the bull or something. But um, I, I don't like. You know, it's hard to say, right? Because obviously, like, we're doing it really fast. Maybe he thought some, you know, blocking this guy would have been free or whatever. You know, like he could have freed up the wrestle hub or whatever. So he probably thought it was worth it, but I think. I think GFIs have got to be really worth it, you know, to, to do them, if you ask me. With, with like, such critical roles coming in, like, he had to be able to make this dodge away, didn't he? That was so crucial that he had to make that dodge in the three GFIs to run away from the other ball. Um, so I think I would have personally not made that GFI, no matter how much I wanted to. And obviously he would have still failed the break tackle, with, with the way the dice went. But I still think he probably shouldn't have done that. But then maybe he should have done, you know, like that's the thing, isn't it? You know, it's hard to say, right? It is hard to say. Very complicated, I mean, it's... Jordan, and now when even uh, skillless hobos get cast, you know, make cast, it's like, okay, this is time, you know, to switch off the lights and, you know, close the bar, <laughs> all the orders, <laughs> ring the bell. Because <laughs> yeah. that's like, that's, there's no point getting over here if you can get caught by someone and stuff, isn't there? That's like, that's the yeah, way Dino that's the desperate movement that is useless. Yeah, that's the, that's the way Dio thinks a lot of the time. He'll do something that looks a bit stupid and a bit, like, you know, a bit too risky, but it's because the, the payoff is massive and... If you don't take that and you don't go for the safe move, then there's no yeah. payoff in the safe. As they say in uh, poker, implied odds or in Blood Bowl, implied equity. You know, if this movement works, makes things much more difficult for my rival. You know, if I need to yeah. roll a four plus, but that, that makes my opponent that must roll, you know, two four plus or one five plus, then it's a good move if it works. And yeah. if it didn't work, well. You know, the, the reward was uh, good. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, I think so. That's, that's it, so I think a lot of the time, Blood Bowl commentators are a bit too harsh on people like doing those kind of GFIs and yeah. stuff. Yeah, and sometimes there is no other option. It's like, okay, this, this is it. This, uh, I need, you know, to trust in block or trust in dodge and uh, go there. Yeah. 
because it's turn 13 of the second half, you are losing and your team is getting destroyed and you are not gonna over strength Crucifer. No. There we go. The bull GFIs smashes the shit out of this hovel. Does he go for the pickup? Might as well. No, it doesn't see, he doesn't doesn't risk that GFI. As much as he would have had sure feet on it. I think he only made two. Maybe. Like obviously massive payoff to make an extra GFI and picking up, isn't there? But then Oh what if uh, it feels? Up on a regular cast. Okay, weird, I mean, it? maybe I was thinking, yeah, that could will go to use the apoyo in a serious injury because yeah. the game seems more or less sorted. Yeah, that's a real weird apple. Oh, he had two, he had two. Oh, so all right, was... okay, then yes, perfectly fine. Yeah. On the off chance it goes for the time. And then you save the second one. <laughs> oh, God. Well, that's what he gets for not going for the ball. <laughs> the the hobo, <laughs> the hobo who doesn't go for the ball gets fucking wrecked. Amazing. This is looking. This is over now, isn't it? Pretty much massive, yeah. massive amount of casualties and KOs. And that and the Cruz. fact that all the players next to the ball are uh, crucifer players. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. Ball's getting claw pommed. No. No, 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 he can uh, he already activated the group bomber. Come on, boy! That's me! <laughs> this is probably my only chance of uh, winning uh, the chalice, having a player named after me. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's going to be put in the most dangerous positions as well, isn't he, as a rookie? But... Yes, yes, yes. Obviously, yes, that's the sacrificial chore. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> just a few more games, just a few more games. <laughs> <laughs> so, because usually I told him uh, to put there because when he was playing in the mornings, I was working in the morning, so I watch most of the day. To put you know, a, a number, the number of five mirrors that have been used. I think it will stop with five mirrors, five or six. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to win, you know, win the challenge with five mirrors, 37. <laughs> At last. <laughs> Well, that was a bit of a potato from Chris. Um, and he gets he gets smacked down, but it's taken all of the players to do it. I was a lot of rolls involved, but yeah. And, uh, maybe he got soft. Lucifer is getting soft with happiness. <laughs> the job, girlfriend, the cat, and all that. Things looking good. <laughs> no need to play 300 play games of uh, Blood Bowl every six weeks. <laughs> Chris versus Mr. Page is a possible semi-final, Steam I mean, maybe it's the um, possible next round, I don't know. Maybe both of them the have played against each other lots of time because they were uh, casting at the same time, uh, UTC mornings, mm -hmm. and that was very common, I remember watching uh, Crucifer with his chores and uh, Mr. Page with his chaos or whatever it was, playing a lot of games. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, it's it's uh, Chu Blanc versus uh, Mr. Page. So yeah, it's semi, it's semi, pretty sure, pretty sure. El Fantastico. I'm I'm already Jimmy Fantastico on Twitter. That I don't really use, but there you go. I foresaw it this. Counts, I was a it genius. counts. The copyright is there. The copyright <laughs> claim is there. <laughs> All the hallows was just in it was just in preparation for changing. <laughs> get that foreign language in so now we can change to Spanish. <laughs> you know, get that so the American eh, aficionados. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was actually a risky you know. Yeah. Was for Crucifer, the, yeah. If the bull had got that ball. Yeah. Jimmy 
Kloeke. Yeah, that was really close, actually. Desperation move, near, you know, gave my house a little... That nearly, nearly worked. Yeah, yeah, that was, fair. That was good good play, wasn't it? Going for that, you know, the Lord's play, the, the only play that he had. Coming from the mistake of Crucifer of le letting the bull uh, get hit. Yeah, maybe, maybe he shouldn't have run where he went. Like, it's obviously easy to think that your strength five is invincible and just run forward and try and get the skull, but yeah, maybe he should have played it. I mean, there was a lot of hobo roles involved. Yeah. Yeah, but I still don't blame Chris for it all, obviously, but, you know. And there you go, that was uh, double schools. If you must cut the schools, you were like, oh, oh massive punishment there. Yeah. Chibi Cloaca. Hobo pick up. Will he pass it this turn? No. Boringly effective. I know, yes, my heart's on just passed down, said, okay, enough is enough. Put a good fight for uh, a good chunk of the game, but... Uh, oh, he's going to pass it to five here. Oh, yeah, there you go, pass for the VP. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Fuck. oh, oh, so close. Fucking disaster. <laughs> but that's one of the things of uh, Cruz does, and that's why he's good uh, leveling uh, charge teams and all that. He sometimes, you know, goes for the scores with charge or the bulls or something like that. When he's like, "Are you sure about this? Yeah, I need this, to, you know, to progress the team." Blah blah. I have been playing, you know, X games. So after twelve games, I need to have this, this, and this. You know, the team, the team is right. Mm. There you go. Well, anyway, congratulations, uh, Crucifer. Yeah. Yep, congrats, Chris. Commiserations, Mahalson. I mean, uh, it's a bit of a six, dicing, wasn't it? six armor breaks versus 23 armor breaks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like. <laughs> you know, that's it, isn't it? It's a bit of a dicing. Um, you know, I'm sure. I'm sure they both played well in that. Like, it's not as if, like, you know, getting that more, that you get that many more blocks because you're up men as well, doesn't it? You know, so like. Yeah, you are, uh, when you are in the receiving end, it's very difficult with short manufacture hits. When you are guard lock at the. Uh, you maybe have a bleach here and there with a bull. Other than that, it's very complicated. Yeah. But there you go. And um, thank you very much, Fami, for the excellent commentary, as always. Glorious. Glorious. It's always a pleasure to be here. And uh, thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.